Good day, everyone, and welcome to the 30th annual Turkey Trot right here from South Shore Speedway. And turkeys are racing tonight. What are the drivers racing for tonight? Well, they're racing for the one and only the, the prize. Everybody wants the turkey. You can see it in there with all other kinds of food. The, the Butterball Turkey <laughs> it is the prize tonight. It's for the 30 years, the 30th time we're racing for a turkey. Dean Strom is back. The champ is back. He's going to back, and he's got a mouth on him. He's talking about calling audibles. He is calling everybody out on this one that they're not even going to be able to get close to his team right. Uh, Steve risk. They, he's saying they're going to wipe everybody out on this track. We'll see. It's a D-slot race. Speaking of audibles, those are big auto. You come off the track. We already had one D-slot before we even started the That's race. That's right. Uh, John Shea, unfortunately, he had a big, massive D-slot when his truck hit a deer. Let's see which one wins. The big turkey is 30 years old. we got to get rid of it sometime. Dino Bravo, Lee Skippy, it's the 30th annual Turkey Trot! Look at that fast qualifier. Absolutely, Dino Holy Bravo. Holy cow! It's his third pole of the year, Crocky, mate. That is Mike Lack. Next to him is the hometown hero. It's dangerous, Dan oh, Morgana! And then the driver who qualified third. Oh my, what a developing story we have here. He Lee. has passed stones. You're talking about big stones. Here a guy who does not have big stones. <laughs> he will line up on the outside of row number two. That is Joe Ike. Oh, here's That's a guy who's won this turkey trot how many times lee six times he's the oh biggest my. turkey on the grid that's ev kamikawa john john wiedemann hota doble as brad core in the red arrow cup here's your defending series champion great to have him back yeah. dean strom everybody oh yes yeah. so let's have a nice round of applause for dean all right yeah. yes yes we are on the dull end of the grid and here is my christoph el matador matt hayek right there next to him my christoph and in the back row dino Bravo. pete dorn oh, that is steve wrist that is the grid gets the turkey trot he race number one he's ready to roll off and we are fired up and running with the champ dean strom out there john wiedemann they've got steve wrist his teammates so we got teammates racing against each other and pete dorn oh we got a d slot for there for the the champ early on the squirrel shagged enterprises fellas now are running on a knife's edge they are down to their last d slot out there dean strom steve wrist steve's been challenged by this hairpin right there in that green lane that was pete dorn just going out right there first man out tonight coming up on the end of this first heat race john wiedemann handily out front and he holds off Dean Strom, and after running up two D-slots in that first half, both Wrist and Strom did not hold on a single one. Strom now on the transfer spot. It is the second heat race tonight for the Turkey Trot. Bill Black, Mike Lack, your fast qualifier, hometown hero Dan Margetta, and the man who has more turkeys than... A guy who has a lot of turkeys. More turkeys than Greg. <laughs> Kamakawa. We got a battle for the lead here. Ev Kamakawa, that black and red car now has pulled out ahead of the blue and white car of Dan Margetta. These fellas go all the way back to the original turkey trot 30 years ago. Ev has taken home six. Oh no, Margetta with a second D slot. We're excited to uh, have a special guest here in the booth because we have to count D slots. We have the count. So we just had a D slot there for Ev Kamakawa. How many D slots count does he have? One, one D slot. And his competitor, Dan Margetta? Two, two a D slot. Now we understand you've been very busy the past couple of weeks in Arizona. Uh, you are counting votes? One a vote, two a vote, three a vote. Oh, this explains why it took two weeks to, to get a winner. Heat race, number three. Floodgates here, Joe Heights, Mike Kristoff, Matt Hayek. Brad Core, Brad Core. there we go. Looks like Brad Core out front on that black and red uh, arrows car. Way out front, Brad Core. he doesn't care about the D-slot races. He's putting it on early here. Oh, and there's a problem right there. That's a double, you've, you've heard of double doinks in football, that was a double D slot. Matt Hayek and Joe Heights and Brad Kaur has got one, so D slots like crazy early on here, they're not taking it easy. Another one for Matt, I think that's two already for Matt Hayek, so a rough start here to heat race number three. Brad Kaur leads this final heat race, but he's 
walking a tightrope as he now has two D slots having come out right there in a hairpin corner a couple times. That's the Achilles heel right there for, oh boy, that was close. That was close. And just like that, there's your race leader, Brad Core. It happened in the hairpin. We'll catch a word real quick. Brad, uh, you're out front looking good, but that hairpin turn was a problem. Hairpin, that's a tight one back there. That one's gonna be trouble. Yeah, it been better in the yellow, but red was fast. But just hard in that corner. Oh, oh no, the leather leader just bites the dust. There is Matt Hayek is out while leading his third D-slide. Again, in the hairpin corner, that gets everybody. That leaves just two cars on the racetrack. It's the Michael Shankett racing team of Joe Heights, Joe Heights, and Mike Kristoff. The floodgates are open. Teammates, but they're on the same page. Joe Heights wins. He'll find his way to the turkey trot, and that's next. Time for the final four interviews, the kind of the grid one we call it. Personally, fine as a guy that just won the race. He's barely out of the car. You look on tonight, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was a good race. You know, at first it was pretty tough. Matt was uh, real quick, but then uh, Gate, uh, Gate. Then uh, luckily I had it. I was faster than Matt, but luckily he came off, so then I could take the pool, so I could chill out until the next heat. Now you have no D slots whatsoever on the night. You have yet to come off the racetrack, and that that's this kind of race this is. You get three, three you can, three you can, uh, you know, throw away, but you've got your whole lot for the whole night. First D-slot final, feels really good, car feels awesome, I think I got it. This is a transfer guy, it's Bill Black, who's hey. been fast all year, Bill. This is uh, up towards the top of the standings, you've been pretty good tonight. You got the most laps, you're in the final. You know, it, it is a great feeling for uh, representing Team CBD, but I got news for you. There is a guy in a D-slot race known as Carnage. He's going down, baby. I'm the best driver around in this race. 30 years, the same bad joke, and it'll wind up on the cutting room floor for the 29th year. Uh, never won a D-slot race, but you won everywhere else. Have you turned the corner on the D-slot track? I don't know. D-slot is just a stupid, crazy race, and a key word is stupid. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, this is the first one I ever ran and didn't have a D-slide yet, so probably waiting for me all in the first lap of the final. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner at your house? No, no, it'll be at my sister's house and I'll give it to her and she can do whatever the heck you do with the damn bird. Turkey Trap, number 30. One of these four drivers is going home with a butterball. Oh, and a crash early on. Oh, one for... One for Bill. We're closing in on halfway. Ev Kamakawa just put John Wiedemann down by a lap. So just a lap and that little bit of distance as we approach the lane switch. Each driver just has the one D slot. And Kamakawa went out. Ooh, that veteran is, is getting rattled here early on in the second half. He's on the ropes now. I think so. Uh, Three D slots. John Wiedemann has now moved back out front after that faster pit stop and those couple of spins for Kamikawa. That is the number 12 Penske HO racing car of Ev Kamikawa just de-slotted out of this thing. Yeah, no, no, you're out. But you, you had to be pleased with the run tonight. I mean, you kind of showed the league that Ev Kamikawa is back. It's been kind of up and down season, but you back. You hack. Back. Yeah, back. I haven't won a race in four years. No. Back. <laughs> back. No, thank you for giving me that credit. But yeah, let's play off. Every, everyone be scared of me now. I'm going to finish 11th in the standings this year, not 12th. You are, mark my words. It took a lot of talent to finish 12th in the standings with the car number 12. And this year, people said, well, the car number 12 win the championship. Well, the last time I won a championship, I missed the first race. This year, I missed the first race. So, of course, the symmetry ends right there as part of that. But you just watch, everyone. I spent money on my team. Roger spent money on my team. We're going to finish 11th in the standings. Maybe even 10th. Got this. The gap is 29 laps. 29 laps between John Weeman and Bill Black. It's time to charge. If, if Bill's got anything left, he's got to go now, I think. <laughs> In the last two minutes, when you're down by 29 laps, laps you, you might. Oh, oh he went! Oh. <laughs> he went! Wow, that was. I'll freeze frame that for everybody. Is the oven warmed up yet? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna be cooking it. Yeah, cook that turkey. 
less than 30 seconds now this is going to end. You're going to see the first ever win in the D-slot race for John John Weedman. There have only been there have only been five one-time winners of this event. John Wiedemann is about to be number six. Number six. That's 30, 30 races and only six first-time winners. Yeah, not many people win this race. Not, not many people get to take home that turkey. And John Weedman will do it right there. There it is. Hota Doble. John John Weedman is the winner in the turkey trot. Turkey Trot winner, John Wiedemann. Hey. My, oh my, that was boring. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm texting my sister, I'm bringing a turkey. <laughs> woo Hey, wait a minute. Dan's not going to your sister's No, son. I'm bringing the Butterball. Oh, the Butterball. Yeah. Congratulations on the Butterball, your first Butterball. First Butterball, first, I think, well, I think I might've won a D-slot race at Matt's house, but first time I've ever done anything here, man. I always suck here, so. Had a great race with Ev. I always have a good race with Ev. He's always tough. And then I don't know what happened to his car. I don't know if somebody threw some, you know, stones at him. Is there were stones on the track. They're big stones. Somebody might have dropped them and, and he hit them. But, uh, yeah, it was a great race. <laughs> it was really boring. It was really boring. Yeah, well, at the end, it was really boring. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to get an even number of laps on, on Bill, so I, uh, I did at the end. And 30. That was a little exciting. I got yelled at by my team. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think I, was, I didn't think I wasn't going to take nothing home tonight. Wait, what's your sister's name? Sue. Sue. Sue, hey, Sue, meet the Butterball. Meet Dan Margetta. Dan? John, congratulations. Your first turkey, the 30th uh, annual turkey trot, belongs to John Weedman, and here is the turkey. All right. All right. All right. Can you trot for me? I cannot trot. <laughs> Come on, trot. I don't think this, this turkey ain't going to trot either. It's just going to go kathunk. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. His first turkey at the turkey trot, and he's not even going to trot. That'll do it from here. We'll see you in a oh, few weeks. Open. No, I don't want to. I don't want you. No, no, I don't want. I don't want you to get the trots don't, either. Don't beat that on. Yeah, yeah. Badger Raceway. The road course at Badger Raceway is next. I love that track. Open class. I love it too. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, we, we're not going to race for a turkey. No, but I'm going to win there too. All right, yeah. John's going to win there too. <laughs> Woo! The Indy Slot Car Series. Thanks you for watching the Indy Slot Car Channel.